So we talk about the magic of Aladdin. What is the magic? So producing bright white light since 1908, the white light is important. Flickering little oil lamps usually have a yellow or orangish glow to them. So with the Aladdin lamp, you're getting a nice bright white light that is actually the closest thing to natural sunlight. So it's actually gonna be easier on your eyes. And what makes them different is how the light is emitted from the lamp. It's coming from the mantle instead of the wick, like a normal oil lamp would. With Aladdin, you get light where you want it, when you want it, without the need for electricity, batteries, or pumping. So let's talk a little bit about some technical facts. Um, when we talk about brightness, if you go and look at just one Aladdin lamp, it's equal to not one, not two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six to seven regular flat wick oil lamps will equal one Aladdin lamp. Um, as far as heat, the heat output is really pretty great for just such a small little lamp. It puts out about 2,000 to 2,800 BTUs of heat. And when we talk about temperature wise, um, you actually, at the top of the lamp, where most of the heat is coming out, it's above 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At the mantle height, it's about 413 if you were to touch the glass there at that point. And inside where the wick is actually burning, it's over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is a lot of heat being put out. So now let's get into how they actually work. From the bottom to the top, the wick, okay, I remember what the wick looks like. That's gonna absorb your fuel from your font and it's gonna draw it up into the burner. And all modern burners are called side draft. As you can see, there's little holes in here. All of your oxygen is flowing into your burner here. So that's side draft. And that's where it's gonna be mixing with the fuel. Your chimney on top is creating a draft. So your hot air is being pulled up and out the chimney and continuing the flow coming in and then up out the chimney. On the inside, your wick, when you light that, you're burning the fuel and you're creating a flame. On the inside of your wick, again, is your flame spreader that's feeding it with more oxygen and you're creating a blue flame. So the heat from that blue flame is then going to cause your mantle, which is going to be sitting on top, it's going to cause it to incandesce or glow.